I disappeared for four months because I was directing the first gay long length mini series. My secret agent husband. Hi, my name is Didi Holland. If you see my face, I do this Asian mom sketches on TikTok. If not, I should work harder. I'm also a screenwriter and a director, and I just did a show for one of this vertical mini series. Verticals, if you're not familiar with it, let me quickly introduce it. They are designed specifically for film viewing, shot vertically, and each episode is like one or two minutes long. Plots are simple, very dramatic, fun to watch. There are multiple platforms of doing this. Think of it as a mini Netflix. The one that I did is for Drama Box. And my show is available right now, My Secret Agent Husband. Here's the story behind. Ever since this vertical TV series has come up, it's all hetero shows. Pardon me for using such a direct term, but that's the fact. If you know, you know. Now, being part of the LGBT community and a filmmaker, I feel like that should be a gay show for its target audience. There are LGBT contents in everything, right? Comic books, TV shows, novels, movies. Why not verticals? So I started writing the script in April. I think that's when I stopped updating on TikTok. Anyway, I went pitching everywhere to see which platform is willing to fund a gay story. And it was hard because I found out there are two short length gay shows have been done in verticals before mine. By short length, I mean only 10 episodes, like a short film. Cause usually a normal vertical series is like 50 episodes at least, like an hour feature film, right? And they're only doing 10 episodes, so less budget, less risk. So before mine, these two are the only LGBT shows in verticals. However, they both felt epically. Now, I'm not here to judge the show because I do appreciate the attempt, but failing is also the fact. Therefore, it makes it even harder for me to pitch a long length show. I got turned down so many times. Well, because it's a small world, we're all in the same industry. It's, it's super competitive, right? So everybody knows what their enemies are doing. They were like, oh, I heard that this platform is doing LGBT shows and, and it's doing really bad. Hmm, I'm not sure investing a long length one will be a smart move. Let someone else take the risk. Go pitch to someone else. That's how the game works. It's cool. So it was really hard for me to get started until I met Drama Box. I really appreciate that Drama Box has the gut to do it, to give me the opportunity to make this happen. Now, these people who greenlit the show are the real shit. That's how we make the first long length gay vertical show in history. Also, I'd like to introduce the concept of this genre. The official term to address this genre is called BL, aka boys love. It's not just gay show, it's not just gay series, LGBT series, LGBT movies. It is an independent genre. You can think of it as a more idealized, more pure, more utopian love story between two men. Also, on top of BL, I mix a little bit K-drama elements in it. Also, there's a more precise term to address that as well. It's called idol drama because the range of K-drama is very broad. But the K-drama elements, the K-drama vibe that people are usually referring to, well, you know what I'm talking about. Dad! It's actually from idol drama. Whether it's BL, idol drama, it origins from Asia, and it does not exist in Hollywood. It does not exist in American culture. It has its own aesthetic, it has its own delivery, it serves in its own way. And while I was directing this, because no one has ever done this before, right? So people don't quite understand what I was doing. I kept being questioned, I kept being doubted, I kept being confronted that things don't make sense in every single way. Why there's wind in the room? Why don't you just give him medicine if he's having a fever? He can't just fall in love at first sight. He's a secret agent, how can he just marry someone? Why does he do this? Why does he do that? People don't do that in real life. Yep, you said it. People don't do that in real life. A genre exists is because it has its own aesthetic, it has its own delivery. I don't do this for no reason. So don't use this Hollywood standard to see it, to judge it, because in art creating, there's no standard. I dare to say I'm the first one who brought this whole BL idol drama thing into the US market through verticals. Because I know that it has its own target audience, I want to make a show for them. If you've seen the show and if you like it, thank you for your support, I really appreciate it. Now, heart to heart speaking, I knew this was going to be a long journey for us. I knew it's going to be a tough fight. Because honestly, the show has been up for two weeks and it's not doing what we had wished it could have done, if you know what I mean. 
but we kind of predicted that because we haven't done this type of show before. It's refreshing. It's new to us. It's new to the audience. We don't know how to run it. We don't know how to operate it. We're still trying. Also, through a survey, a majority of the current active audience that Drama Box has kept are rather conventional and traditional. They're most likely against LGBT content. So this show is not doing what other hetero shows are doing on Drama Box. That's why we need to reach out to more people out there, to its target audience. That's why we need your support. I've seen a lot of people out there are liking this show, which I really appreciate. But please, 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 if you really want to support, go watch the authentic, authorized version on Drama Box, not the pirated copies, because we have come this far. We finally made one for the first time in history, and if this one doesn't make a profit for the platform, for the investor, probably LGBT content, BL shows will be abandoned for good. No investors will ever want to do another one. So please go support. Honestly, I don't get any cut from the show if it does really well. I only got paid as being a director and a screenwriter. So profit-wise, it has nothing to do with me. But I'm still out here promoting it. To shout out for the show is because I hate to see this genre ends here. So please, if you really like the show, go support it on Drama Box. Now, as a vertical screenwriter and a director, I like to share some of my humble opinions on this whole vertical industry. I know some people in the TV and film industry are really looking down upon this type of show. It is considered cringy, stupid, bad writing, bad acting, super low class stuff. Now. I'm not his judge. In fact, I really appreciate the opportunity that is given to us, to all of these rising filmmakers. Because come on, all filmmakers' ultimate goal is to make legit films, legit TV shows. All performers want to do solid, profound acting, right? But this is a stepping stone to a higher position. I'm saying this because I see some people who are also in the game, but they still think that they're too good for this. They're getting paid for doing this type of show while talking shit behind it. Mocking it, laughing at it, criticizing everything from the top to the bottom, saying the whole thing is stupid. Now that's what I consider a low-class behavior. You don't get to judge us from a higher position because a, you're not that level yet. You're still doing this. B, at the end of the day, this is still entertainment industry. We're here to entertain, and if people are being entertained, we are doing our job. Don't let this vertical form blind you from seeing real talents. Blame it on the industry. Anyway, I'm also proud of myself for being able to do a show like that, especially an American BL show, history and the making. By the way, I also wrote the theme song "Truly Knows." I sang it too. That's my voice. You're the only one who truly knows. Yes, I'm the one who made this cringy hate drama vibe background music that's been played in the show. Anyway, I'll be releasing this single very soon. If you like it, go stream it as well. So please go support the show. Go watch it on Drama Box. If you want more shows like that, we sincerely need your support. Thanks for watching. Go support my secret agent husband.